Typically when you hear people talking about eating cactus, they're probably talking about prickly pears. And those are kind of related, but they're very different. And I'll get into that here in a second. These are ferro cactus, uh, talking about the genus here, where prickly pears are going to be the genus Opuntia. So these are coming from a barrel cactus and not the cactus that has like the green paddles, uh, nopales that you're going to make into cactus pad salad and what have you. These are really, really good. I just got back from my trip to Arizona. I go there just about once a year to see some family and it's nice to get out of Minnesota and see a completely different landscape. Uh, but they're kind of confusing. First, do you eat it raw? What the heck do you even do with them? So do not eat them raw, not because it's going to hurt you, but because they're going to be really, really sour, uh, just like a prickly pear. The good part is you can see I'm handling these things with my hands, like touching them, holding them. You are not going to do that uh, with prickly pear fruit unless you are buying them in a store and they've had the glochids, those teeny tiny horrible little spines uh, either like burned or singed off of them or removed in, in some other way. So the barrel cactus fruit have no glochids. So you can just basically walk up, keeping in mind the long thorns, and you can give them a little twist and pick them right off of the cactus, put them into a bag, and that's it. So super easy to harvest and they're not going to hurt you either. Unless you get stuck by the really long thorns, just be a little bit careful. Uh, to prep them, I cut them just like about right here. This part in here is a little bit tough and pithy, so I usually take off a good half inch off the top, and then I just cut them in half, and now you're gonna see the other cool part about them is that inside, remember these are, these are a fruit, there's seeds. So you basically have two different culinary parts to these the fruits here, and the seeds, they're both going to get dried, and you can cut them into rings too for drying. I think it's a little bit easier to get the seeds out if they're just cut in half, uh, but you can do either, and either will be totally fine. The seeds, they smell a little bit like, almost like coffee when they're dried and then ground and uh, toasted and ground. Uh, I have a recipe for flatbreads that I make with them that's really good, and then a soup that I make with the rehydrated barrel cactus fruit that is really, really good. Uh, so you dry them out. It'll take, probably take 24 hours in a dehydrator. And what they will look like is something like this. So you can see now the seeds just come right out, and you can just give them a little rub. And, yeah, they come right out. You probably have a couple kind of left stuck in there, but they're totally fine. It'll come out when you, when you rehydrate them. So to cook them, I rehydrate the dried barrel cactus fruit, and then I throw away the soaking liquid, because it can be a little bit bitter, but then I take the, the soaked fruit, and I might cut them into pieces and cook them in something where you'd want, where you would like lemon because uh, they're a little bit tart, almost like sorrel. So I'll put a link to the soup that I make out of these that's kind of like a desert theme. It's all things from a desert. Goat, a little bit of sage, uh, tepary beans, which are the wild bead from the southwest that the Native Americans use a lot, and then flatbreads made from the cactus seed, and the rehydrated barrel cactus fruit. And after you simmer them in something, they get nice and soft, but still keep a little bit of their tartness. And they also add a little bit of mucilage. That sounds gross. Mucilage is kind of a horrible word. It's like moist. Uh, but the mucilage, thick, it thickens the soup almost like weak cornstarch. And it's just really a cool, interesting culinary product that you can harvest wild if you live in the southwest. These are from Arizona. Uh, typically, you, you sh probably shouldn't see tons of them unless you go there in like late February or March. But if you find areas that are irrigated, i.e. people's yards, 
uh, you'll see them fruiting a little bit earlier, kind of from my experience. So yeah, these are barrel cactus fruit and they are super cool. So if you see some, pick them, dry them out, let me know what you think.